Welcome back to What Grinds Our Gears with Brianna and Jamie. You're tuning in to our third segment in which we are going to be talking about the issues that are brought up Mm -hmm. with Fifty Shades of Grey, the controversy, why so many groups are upset over it and feuding and arguing and mm, the internet's a mess right now. Yeah. We're also going to be introducing our third topic. No, not our third topic. I'm sorry. (laughs) Our topic for next week, but I promised Jamie that she can do it. Oh, okay. <laughs> she allowed me to do it, guys. I'm, I feel special. Anyway, next week we're going to be talking about the friend zone. And it's going to be a good one because we have a very strong opinion about that. And it's not what mm-hmm. you expect, I don't think. Um, so we, we might have a guest next week. We don't know yet. We have to ask some of our friends, a very limited amount of friends because we don't have many. But <laughs> The four that we have. <laughs> but look forward to that next week. And um, right now we're going to get into more Fifty Shades. So... I read something on Tumblr that said, I'm, I wrote it down, so I'm probably going to be a little slow reading it. People who say Fifty Shades is just a movie obviously don't realize the impact that abuse is having on the world right now. Men and women are going to see that people are enjoying this movie and are going to think it's okay to be abusive. It is literally promoting abuse. There's really no way around it, I feel like, because... I don't understand why people are trying so hard to justify something that doesn't have a justification. It's abuse. It's th- it's just that. It doesn't deserve a justification, really honestly. <laughs> I don't understand why it's so popular. Like we were saying in our second segment, which you should listen to, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like, like we were saying, I feel like a lot of books and movies that have gotten so popular are about like people choosing... Which side do I go to? Who do I love more? Do I do the right thing or the wrong thing? What can I do to save my family? You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Whereas Jamie lost her paper. I'm sorry <laughs> I'm for that sorry. little crinkling noise. <laughs> I feel like there is no real plot behind this. I feel like it's very repetitive. It's just... It's just a yeah. guy emotionally and physically abusing a girl who doesn't know anything about anything and (laughs) she's very naive yeah and i don't know if that was intentional or if she just came off that way i think it was intentional because it shows that he's controlling and he's controlling her a naive person it's like predator prey you know but i don't think that they meant it naive so that she would look like the prey i think that the author wanted her to be naive like we were saying before because she's like plain and innocent and whatever whatever Mm -hmm. but that's not cute being naive and ignorant and not knowing what's going on and not knowing that someone is treating you this way that's not attractive especially because didn't she graduate college so she's going to go out into the real real Mm -hmm. world world now um i got tongue-tied um and she's going to have a job and she's going to be like you know expected to be a real adult and live her life and do whatever and she she's not going to know how to do that if she's naive if she's going to let some guy control her life and it's just, you know, and what's really scary is that there are 14-year-olds seeing this movie and thinking that this is the ultimate romantic relationship before they've even had their own relationship. And the fact that it be- came out on Valentine's Day is just completely ridiculous, I think. It's really funny, actually, because in the movie, he clearly says that he doesn't make love. He doesn't do the dating thing. He's not a romantic. He doesn't want them to sleep in the same bed. So... There's nothing romantic about the movie or the situation itself. It's really not. The fact, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was going to repeat myself again, but it, there is nothing romantic about it. It's it's abusive and it's wrong. It's just... It's I abuse on so many levels. It's uh-huh. like physically, emotionally, He mentally. keeps trying to like change her and yeah. trying to make her do, be her, his submissive and do what he wants to do. And it's just, it's way wrong because she doesn't want to do it, but she thinks that he's going to change, that he's going to love her. He doesn't love her. She's falling in love with him and she's an idiot for that because he doesn't care about her. All he wants from her is just, you know, for her to be his kind of submissive and that's it. He's not, I don't know. I think it's also a little creepier when you realize he's had, what is it, like 15 girls in the same shoes that she's in and the same bed that she's in it's disgusting. before she got there it's disgusting i mean even he was in her position at like 15 with one of his mother's friends and it went on for six years they're still in contact and he thinks that that's okay he she raped him for six years yeah and he 
when when they talk about it in the movie, they go for a walk in the woods, and he's just talking about it casually. And Anna doesn't even realize how wrong that is. She's just like, oh, really? Okay. And I don't know. I mean... He, it's really creepy. He keeps trying to pressure her into signing that contract, which basically says that he owns her practically. Yeah. That's in short in short terms, yeah, he owns her. And then they have like I guess a conference or meeting where she's like crossing things out and saying I don't want to do this, I don't want to do that and he's like, "Really? Are you sure? Really? I think we should try that." So, she clearly doesn't want to What's the point? <laughs> I don't know. Um Ugh. she never even signs them, the papers. And he keeps she pressuring her and stalking her. She like she walks around with the, how do you say, like a folder basically yeah. with the papers in it and she just never gives them to him. I love how randomly when he drove her, he just pulled them out of his glove compartment. <laughs> that was the best part. <laughs> he just gave them He to is her. so ready for this. You have no idea. I think he has got a copy in every car he owns in like. Every it's car, just, the helicopter, every bedroom. Just in case the every right drawer. moment would arrive. I don't know. Just in case you happen to run into someone, you're like, hey, want to be my submissive for a weekend? Sign mm-hmm. these papers. It's like when you get spam emails. That's like, want to sign up for a free credit card? Yeah, no. <laughs> and um, he, he said that she was going to be his submissive for like the weekend. And then the rest of the week, she could do whatever she wants. She was free. No, he said that he wanted her to stay at his house from... Set Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, exactly. And do you know do whatever he wanted yeah. in his playroom. But so basically, she belongs to him all days of the week. It's just that those three days, she like extra belongs to him. Extra belongs <laughs> to. Him. But yeah, that's just that's wrong because yeah. he keeps stalking her and he keeps he keeps claiming that she's changing him and she's not changing him. Yeah. He's he's trying to change her and he, he really is stalking her though because he ends up in like the store that she works. He ends up in her new apartment which he doesn't even have the address to he ends up at the bar when she's with her friends and she didn't tell him where the bar was when he asked she her she doesn't tell him tell anything him. yeah she she never actually says like this is where i am come pick me up or come see me or let's hang out it's like she turns around and he's there it was like, so creepy oh god that would freak me oh, out i feel like the first time someone does that to you you're like no this is it we're done you're exactly. stalking me. It's and over. when he found out that she was a virgin, he was like extra excited. Like he, he was like, "Oh my god, like, this oh, is great! I get to break you in and make you messed <laughs> up." Like that's basically. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Oh. <laughs> but that's basically what happened. Cause you know he was kind of innocent before Mrs. Robinson messed him up, and he's gonna mess her. He wants to mess her up like he was messed up. <laughs> Uh, this is why I love Jamie. Because <laughs> every once in a while I'm she sorry. says something that's like not on the script and we didn't talk about it, we didn't rehearse it. And she's just like, yeah, he wants to break her. Like a horse. <laughs> but it's true though, I mean. I, had a I can't stop really... laughing. I'm going to be thinking about this for like eight weeks. Uh-huh. I'm going to be thinking about this until the sequel comes out. Did you know that um, E.L. James is planning on writing the sequel? No. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no. I don't like her writing. I established that before. Because oh. I don't think they're going to go for it, though, because Universal Pictures, which is the company that owns the rights to the film, I only know because I had to do a review for it for the newspaper, so I had to look everything up. But Universal Pictures owns the rights for the film, and basically she's saying the film didn't come out the way I wanted it to. I want to have more of a part in the movie next time. And they're like, mm, I don't think so. I think she wanted more, like, graphic scenes, more, like, abuse. I don't want to say it can't get more graphic than that, but this girl who plays Anastasia, um, Dakota Johnson, I think that's her name, right? Mm -hmm. She's naked for, like, 98% of that movie. Mm -hmm. I mean... I don't know what they want to do. I don't think that her her um, role was cast very well. I think she belongs in a romantic comedy, and I said this many times mm-hmm. to you before. I think that they should have gotten another actress. But then again, what kind of classy actress would be doing I that? I think that's the thing. I think a lot of the more well-known actresses that maybe they had in mind were not interested in it. They don't need to parade around naked to be famous. Other people weren't really interested in it. Plus, whenever they're getting like a trilogy or some sort of big movie deal they always try to get people that are not very well known yeah like how they picked Kristen Stewart but she never really did anything so popular before Twilight or like Jennifer Lawrence you know what I mean Mm -hmm. I think they always try to do that just so it's like that's what you're known for yeah but do you really want to be known 
as Anastasia Steele for the rest of your life. It's kind of humiliating, really. It is. It, to be, I don't... She's not a good actress. And she goes on interviews and talks about the movie, and I don't know how she's ashamed. She's not ashamed. She is not a good actress. She's not... I don't know why they picked her. She keeps giggling. Yeah. When he's, like, trying he, to force he her is down. really she's, good. Yeah. He's, he's amazing. He's good in it. But she's but, just a bad yeah. actress. Yeah. It's like... I guess for what they wanted, they wanted this, like, naive, giggly girl who didn't really know what was going on. They picked the right person, but mm-hmm. I don't think it was the right choice. I don't know who would have been the right choice, but I don't think it, it was a good her. idea. Yeah. Yeah. And apparently off screen, they hate each other. That's why there was no which chemistry Which really explains the chemistry. Yeah. But, I don't know. Mm-hmm. The movie just has so many issues, and... Literally, you watch the movie or you read the books, whichever one you prefer. And it has... You know how every once in a while you'll see an article that's like the top 10 red flags for an abusive relationship? Yeah. It has every single one. Exactly. It's... She's being stalked. She's... She says... Not in the movie, but in the book, there are a lot of times where she says no. Or she uses like her safe words, you know? And he's like, yeah, you're funny. And he just kind of keeps going. Yeah, that's that's but, wrong and abusive. Yeah. He doesn't care about her really and you know, it's obvious that she's falling in love with him and mm-hmm. she says that in the movie too. Because because you know, when he they were talking about it I think in the end towards the end when she leaves mm-hmm. and he doesn't love her. He doesn't care about her. He doesn't care about hurting her because really it's it's Christian Grey. He does he has no heart, no feelings, I don't think. And she is falling in love with him and I don't get how. I'm worried about... Pe- That's why I'm so worried about people who see it and they think that this is love and this is, like, what you should be rooting for and aiming for in your relationships because there is literally no sign of his affection towards her, mm-hmm. at least in the movie when we were watching it, I guess. I don't know about maybe the other two books, you know, I but know. I guess we'll find out when we get there. Mm-hmm. But I like the ending, though, because she left. And now Jamie spoiled the ending. (laughs) (laughs) You know what? It's okay because the ending was really good. It wasn't really like a twist. It was kind of like like, meh. It was meh, but I like the fact that she got out of there. I was like, that's what I wanted all along. She got out, and I was happy about that. It was a bad ending, honestly. It was like, it wasn't very well done. It was like that was it, you know. But the whole movie was not very well done, though. Yeah, the whole movie had parts that needed to be looked over and revised but i don't know but i'm glad that you know that the way that it ended the way you did it's a little annoying Mm -hmm. but we're almost out of time so we're going to i guess go off we're gonna i was gonna say we're gonna take a break but we're not we're gonna take a week-long break Mm -hmm. and next week we're going to be talking about the friend zone we might have a i kind of have someone in mind that i want to be your guest for next time don't say it on on air tell me later (laughs) Well, we talked about it already, but we're going to see what happens. Um, like our Facebook page, follow yes. us on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> we don't have those. <laughs> you can follow our regular pages if you want to yes. look at pictures of my cat. We post all the episodes on the, uh, our Facebook page, mm-hmm. and we're going to post this one tomorrow. And we post so. a lot of stupid pictures, and I post videos on there, because if not, Jamie doesn't look at them. You could send them to me, you know. You could be it nice and, like, no, send it, them No, it doesn't to work. Then okay. people don't understand the magnitude of our love. Okay. But anyway, um, keep in touch. And okay. we're going to be back for next week.